Hey guys, you you Kirby here with another episode of Spyro 2 Crypto's Rage. In the last episode, we we went through both the Stone and the Ice Ages, and today we're going to go to war. That's right, these two stages at still kept what tied them together. So first of all, we're going to go up to this part and open this portal for money bags. Legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for uh, a small fee. Fuck off. Thanks for the gem, Spyro. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skilo's Badlands. <laughs> Uh, let's talk to him again. Those darn birds and Zephyr never paid me for all the bombs and TNT barrels I gave them. <laughs> Probably because they used them. Anyway, we're going to go to Zephyr. I call it Zephyr, even though he says Zephyr. Eh, call it what you want. Alrighty, so this and Breeze Harbor, we fight on both sides. These guys are called land lovers, the big purple guys, and the birds are called Breeze Builders. So for Zephyr, we at we aid the the land lovers in stopping the Breeze Builders. In Breeze Harbor, we do the opposite. Okay, Spyro, looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The Breeze Builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. Alright, so the first group of enemies, we have are these little birds, which can be either flamed or charged. Alright, so those flying birds will drop them TNT bombs. They're enemies too, so... Yeah. Also, don't charge... In while no, if you're charging at one of the little birds, watch it, cause you, cause they realize how messed, how weird it was back in one to have a um. Ah, no, I didn't realize you could hit him that far. I'll go kick this little bird's ass. There. Oh, you can do it first one. Anyway, they found it weird how, um, they found, no, they realized how weird it was to have you charge into an enemy when they shot an explosive and not take damage. Anyway, you need, you need to hit these guys from a good, from a height. I have no idea how, why they explode though. Anyway. Make it so yeah, I got this too. Alrighty. Oh, the father here are these little caterpillars. Which is pretty funny. Gonna drop down here, collect these gems. And then we're gonna fly over and kill this little bird. And we're back at the place where Cutscene took place, but only this time the little birds placed by a bomb dropper. Found that bit here to be honest. Anyway, that's all we could do for this, so come near him. Dan cannon just ain't working for me. You think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try. So now we yes, we are using a cannon once again. I like these cannons way more because you can have full control. Anyway, there's the di there's the bird dead, and there's the door opened. We also still have this. Yeah, pressing down will will heighten your shot, and up will will well 
loot, loose, make you lose it. I like the things now and break that. I like the farm style music for this stage, honestly. It's really farmy, to be honest. Jumping here for some gems, including a 25. Now we need to jump onto this side for the other gem. Fly back over and collect these gems, and then we can continue. You know, Zephyr and Breeze Harbor are two of my favorite levels in this game. And another enemy are these birds we saw from the beginning, throwing TNT barrels. Yeah. If one of the little birds does not have a big, is unable to get a big bird, this is what they'll do. Well, not chase thing. But they'll use their wings as like karate chops. I, I took the damage because they do not walk to you if you see it. And if I had just charged the um, worm, I would have lost. Oh, right. That was that. Ah, yeah, be careful. They can be very accurate. Alrighty, so. By the way, we are not able to finish this world world first visit. We need climbing to finish it. Yeah, there are four orbs here. This is one of the very few stages that actually has four orbs. But we're not we're only able to get two of them because both these are two parters. However, one the second part actually needs climbing. So we're only going to be handling one two-parter today. And it's actually pretty cool. Right, there's another gem for us. Life. They're they're pretty number big number of lives in these two levels, by the way. There's that big dick. And here we actually need to wait for that next team. Screw you. Alrighty, so now we have the final part of the stage. Now collect these gems from that chest and then we'll go blow up that last door. So yeah, okay, when I'm recording this, today is the day of Sonic Mania's release. And I have played it, and it is an awesome game. If you want it, pick it up. That's all I'll say. I thought it was a bit obnoxious I was talking about Sonic during Hercus. But if people want me to talk about some other games, hey, say so in the comments. Wow, what an explosion. It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh yeah, uh, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. Yeah, good thing you're pot to, to carry. So now we have the breeze, no, the Zephyr talisman, talisman, which is the Ruby Bomb. So now. We're going to drop down here and we're going to be going over to this area because that up this is a calic calic it's a cow based ain't like animal we're going to ignore it because that's the other mission the one we can't do so we're going to go over here talk to this guy what light from yonder window breaks that window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time.
Our actual goal is to make it up to that bird, Juliet. Now, when I was a kid, I actually thought that was the professor. Yeah, let's talk to him again. What life? Okay, now it just repeats. All right, good. So we have two more of these birds. Good. I think the one, I don't know which ones give them ammo, but I have seen them get ammo. I think the two in front of the, um, in front of the, uh, the guy with the, um, the guy in front of the, um, the talisman, sorry. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I literally thought Juliet was the professor when I was a kid. I was an idiot, okay? So anyway, we need to talk to Professor. It's in our calic, and ignoring. Spyro, my boy, I've got a magic bean, uh, I mean seed, for you in here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Aiming the seed by holding down the triangle button will make this easier. Oh, and if you ever need your seed back, just flame the plant, and it will turn back into a seed again. All right, so this is a pretty simple mission pair. Here. There's a seed up there, but we only have one seed. See, if we go back to here, we'll discover that there's another seed plant and another seed over here. We're going to go this way because there's treasure over here. Yes, there are two calyx over here, so when we do that, we'll have to come back here. But the reason why is, like I said, um... Uh, I'm trying to remember which stage it was that I set mentioned it. Egg. Oh, Hurricanes. Since it's a two, since the other mission is a two-parter, well, both the both of these are two-parters. If we leave after completing one of them, we have to redo that. So it's just best to actually come back and do the cal mission involving the Calyx um, when we get climb. And we missed. So with our new second seed, this actually becomes very straightforward. Just jump up to here. Yeah, this is an incredibly easy mission, you know. Aim and shoot that seed in there. Not this one. Walk to the edge, aim the seed, shoot the pile. Become a three. We have two more of these guys. Attack the seed. Now go to here. There's another one done. Glide over to here. And then here and and Tom Kenny's already used his magic powers to come over here. Well done, my boy! Here are two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. Though, and take this with you if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. Yeah, we completed half this. Well, actually, 75% of this. Because right there is where Juliet is. That's kind of stupid that they ha put the professor right here. I kind of feel they should have removed those two breeze builders and put them on that one um, ledge, to be to be honest. Anyway, to do yeah. Now that we have both these on that, we're gonna spit this seed into there. There, take this seed. I don't, yeah, I think you have to redo this if you fall, by the way. Anyway, and bingo, we are done. Talk to Juliet. Romeo, Romeo, 
Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. And that is half the orbs of this world. So, now they'll be happily reunited. And yes, the voice actor for Juliet was the is the same guys as the turtles from Sunny Beach. Yeah. Anyway, so now we'll go lie back down to them because we can both talk to them. And you can talk to both of them. See, if I want to talk to Romeo first, because he's the better Juliet. one. Juliet, now we can take our honeymoon in Colossus Springs and see the idols. Remember when I just talked about? Remember when I said um, Isle Springs was originally called I Colossus Springs? That's the name. I like how they kept that in there. So that was, this was probably done later than done after the, the change. Talk to Juliet. Oh, I've missed my Romeo. If he wasn't so short, we'd get married. Bitch. That is such a bitch move. Anyway, so now we're done with here for now. Like I said, when we get 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 the ability to climb from money bags and on planes, we can go and finish the stage. Now, some of you are wondering why I'm still holding on to doing climbing after I get through the four stages. I don't like. Uh, well, no, it's not really sequence breaking. I just want to do what I can beforehand. I love that. Anyway, so there's our first visit to Sephir done. So now we're going to go over to Autumn Plains. I do like how you how you can enter from the side with, on the upper part of this, but when you come out, you exit out on the other side. That's really cool. Anyway, now we're going to become traitors to the land lovers and to work with the breeze builders here in Breeze Harbor. First off, glide over to here. I always found it stupid how they have this on their platform. Please excuse our mess, Spyro. We are currently suffering from a land blubber infestation. First they put out the fires on our boilers, and now they've shut down our ship too. If you could stoke up the fires under the boilers, I'm sure you could make your way to the ship. The steam from the boilers will activate our highly advanced machines. Steam powered. Nice. Anyway, clear out every enemy in a section beforehand because they because all the enemies in this land are water bit can shoot water. So they'll put out your fires. So that, yeah. Yes. Now up here, we'll come to this this thing. We'll handle that in a minute, in a little bit. Same as getting all those gems and handling this cannon. So now we're gonna take down this guy, which allows us to put to start this, to start this, which raises the water level, which I always found a little bit weird. Anyway, 
I like how spirally this theme is, to be honest. Anyway, take down this guy, charge this little shorty, and get rid of this guy, because yes, that guy can put out that fire. I've actually had that happen to me. Anyway, start this fire, and it will start a fan to blow, move these winged ships. And we're now before the ship. So now we'll take care of that guy. Make this stuff. This guy. We'll handle that path in a little bit. Make down that guy. I like how those guys will actually drink their water if they're bored. There's this. Like this, and we can get onto the ship. So we'll launch. This is kinda really annoying. There are two of the big guys on both sides of the ship. But going through the area, as you can hear, there's one of those little bucket head, bucket boys. There we go, got him. He'll actually work it like a thief in the original game. If you try to go try to go around, he'll actually start going around the other way. It's really kind of douchey. Anyway, so now we'll go on to that platform. Collect these gems. Uh, Thanks for getting our ship fired up, Spyro. Now we can proceed with our counterattack on Zephyr. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. I still say it's Zephyr. Anyway, we now have the Breeze Harbor Talisman. Let me collect these gems real quick. And then we'll go see the name of the talisman. Which is the Glass Anchor. That didn't look glassy. Oh well. Alrighty, so now for the orbs, which we can 100% the stage. The first orb is over there, but... There is one over on this way. Which we're gonna actually start doing on this, to tell the truth. All right, so these things can only be destroyed by the cannon. So be prepared for a lot of shooting. There we go. Each area just has two, so there's four groups. See, we got and take care of half. Jump onto this. Good. Now we're gonna go back to that path. This area we saw. Where we'll talk to this and get guy and get those the land slubbers have littered these metal spike mines all over the harbor. If you can clear them out, I'll give you this orb I found in a clam yesterday. Oh my! Yeah, it says four star. This is not hard. This is two. This is two three, honestly. But it's a, yeah, but it's not a decent two. And three. Yes, we also do need to hit that, ch that chest too. There we go. Can I make it? Nope. There we go. Now this, oh, yes, I'm just supposed to say. 
Those land blood. Ah, just repeats himself. Anyway, that will um, um, drop a few gems in the um in the beginning of the stage. So first of all, we're going to go back to there and collect those. Drop down here, go behind that first boiler to collect the four tens. And so now we're gonna handle the, these two and that treasure chest. Turning off is this one. There we go. This one's a really annoying to actually do. And I also just realized, realized that I'll get sent back after getting this guy, so collect these gems. Yes, those spikes will hurt you. Alrighty, so now just the site because you cannot see where you're where you're hitting. Kind of why I do not like this guy. There we go. Thanks, Spyro. Here's that orb I promised. Sorry if it still has clam juice on it. Ew. Yes, I had to because there will be people who make those comments. Anyway, our next mission is kind of one of the more annoying ones for some people. I actually kind of rarely have trouble with it. But I can see why other people do. So, gonna go into this cave. There's spring again. Launch off. Click these gems. And talk. Yep. How lucky for me that you came along. My machinery is broken, and the gears I need to repair it are scattered all over the tracks. Could you hop on that trolley up there and get them? Why can't you? Anyway, we're gonna collect these gems too. And so now, we're gonna jump onto this. I would recommend sticking with the control pad for this. Okay. We have 50 gears to collect. And there are multiple paths for this, so. This mission's easy if you learn to pay attention. And also remember, jump the boxes, shoot the barrels. Anyway, so now we're gonna shoot that, shoot that. There's another box. If you crash or, um,. Well, if you crash, you'll lose. And you have to start all over again. Okay, so shoot. Shoot. I don't like shooting those two because it's like, it's part of the turn, so it's like, you have to, it's like you might panic. Okay. And we are done. That was great work, Spyro. Now I can start fixing my machines. Here, I don't have room in my toolbox for this thing anymore. It's not that hard of a mission, but I do understand where people get their frustration from. Like these, and we have finished up another stage. So now we're going to return to the home portal. 
and return to Autumn Plains. I love that. Alrighty, so that is that is that air that section of Avalar done. So right now we're gonna go to money bags and learn to climb. Might as well just end it with with this. Well, well, I bet a rich dragon like you wouldn't mind cashing in a few gems to learn how to climb. I'd be willing to teach you for say I don't know a small fee. Judging by how much money is, you actually, I think you would have to go out of your way to ignore gems to actually see, sorry, you don't have enough money. You won't regret it. Okay, when you see a wall surface that looks climbable, like the one to my left here, just jump onto it and you will grab it with your claws. Use the D-pad to move up and down and press jump again to get off. You can also jump sideways onto another climbable area. And so, now we know how to climb. Th climb. Next time, we're going to return. I uh, we're going to start over at Summer Forest and go on and and complete those worlds. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you guys.